welcome to today's video. Somebody just woke up. Hi. Who was it? Who slept in till almost 9 a.m.? Me. <laughs> yeah, I can tell when Gabby has enough sleep because she comes downstairs and she says, happy girl. And I want to point out that she is wearing the exact same outfit that she wore yesterday, even the no socks. Yeah. What's happening here? How come you're wearing the same outfit? Because I normally wear the same outfit. The day I wear it, um, the day after. Is this normal for me? Because you like it? When you find something that works for you, you stick with it? High five on that. Right, girls are starting the day off with an egg. Even Sophie's up! How are you feeling, sister? What time did you wake up this morning? 6.30 a.m. this girl was awake, huh? 6.30 a.m. is usually unprecedented for them to wake up. And Sam said, why is she awake? And I said, she slept for two days straight. Slept all through the night, most of the day. So she's feeling good and she's ready to be awake. I want another egg. You want another egg? Just her voice we need to work on. Yeah, just her voice is still kind of funny. And this girl has not eaten in two days. So if she wants another egg, then I'm not gonna complain. Good morning, guys. I'm feeling so much better. I got my boy. A big part of our day before we even get started at homeschool is coming out to check on the bunny. It's been about four days since I cleaned their cage and I'm gonna do it tonight. We're gonna go to the store and buy more shavings because I had a massive bag and I'm already through them all. We're gonna clean everything out again tonight. I'm super excited. I think Gabby will probably make a video about how she cleans the um, pen and how she sets it all up and stuff. It's pretty simple. Last night, the coolest thing happened. I only feed them, we only feed them once a day pellets and the rest of the day I expect them to eat hay. As soon as I come to feed them, they come running over for the food because they want pellets. At the old barn, they only ate pellets, mostly just pellets and I want to get away from that. I want them to eat mostly just hay with some vegetables mm. and guys. Guess where my bunny was today. Where was your bunny today? <laughs> you could casually see Ruby looking at Daisy in the background. My bunny was right here. On top right of there? Right there. <laughs> yep. Anyway, I noticed that they have lost weight because they're not eating as many pellets. So we do try and give them a lot of pellets right now. Um, a big, huge, like about a cup once a day because I don't want them to just suddenly lose a ton of weight because they're, they're transitioning off of pellets to hay. And there's Ruby and Ruby's thinking she's such a yummy girl you would never hurt our bunnies would you Ruby Ruby you need to go get groomed you need a grooming session that's a whole other video isn't it it's a whole other video can you guys tell which one of these is who who's this guy and who's this guy I can tell right away just from looking at them I can tell it right away that one's mine, that one's yeah. Sophie's. So how you tell Yours is that ears. Sophie's has a lot more gray on him. So he's a and lot gray ears. and this guy's a lot white. And my buddy has the cutest thing on him. What? His nose is brown. His nose is brown? Yeah. And are the other bunnies noses not brown? See? Okay, he's got a brown nose. What he's color? so cute. You, and you have a dark brown nose. What, no, color is, gray nose. what color is Daisy's nose? Look at how cute she is. A white with a slight... Daisy. White with slight brown. Yeah, she's got a pink nose. He's like, what is that? Oh, that seems yummy. Oh, he might have trouble because of his teeth. A huge confession. We never watch TV during homeschool and we never watch TV during the day. Ever. No exceptions. And today, 
Gabby's got me hooked on this crazy television program and she's like, let's just watch our show and we watched two episodes, two episodes. And so now we're coming outside to get some, <laughs> to get some fresh air because we've been trapped by the TV, but look at this. Oh my gosh, it's like you're on an island. Gabby, you're, tra you're trapped on an island. Poor Ruby's over there. She's like, where am I gonna pee? <laughs> oh, I think she's not gonna pee. But yeah, this is the spring thaw in January. Okay. Yeah, so typically we don't have a spring melt until March. Uh-oh, oh no, oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh, Ruby, what are you doing? I hope I got that. Oh no. <laughs> she's like, oh this plant here on the island, get off of me. I got my girl Sophie outside. How you feeling, Sophie? Good. A lot of people messaged me and prayed for you and said they hoped that you feel better. Thank you. I feel a lot better. You, you do feel a lot better. Come here, Ruby. Come on. <laughs> right, we are at our local giant hill, and Gabby is going to be a daredevil, and she's going to. She's gonna slide. Die. You're gonna what? I'm gonna die. Don't die. My son doesn't like it. Right, let's see it. Right, here she goes. Oh God, I'm gonna die. You live. Try number two, watch the help. Take the ball. <laughs> it's not a horse, you can control it. Whoa! We're here with our friend Connor. And he's gonna show us how it's done. All right, here he goes. No. Awesome. Poor Sophie. She chose not to wear snow pants, so she's taking care of Ruby. No! Okay, before we end the vlog, I just wanted to ask you guys, um, I noticed yesterday when we went to the barn, there are a couple of jobs that are at the barn that are not my favorite. And I wanna know what is your least favorite job at the barn? The things that bother Cleaning me- Cleaning up Sabrina's pee and poop. Okay, I don't mind that. I'll clean that up a million times as long as I never have to hoof pick and I never have to put the bridle in. I do not know what it is, but I do not like those. I love hoof picking. When I was younger, hoof picking was my favorite thing to do. Yeah, well it is not my favorite, so I always try and get other people to help me and they always do. So I wanna know in the comments below, what is your least favorite job at the barn? And I'm gonna leave you with this footage of me at the barn last night trying to hoof pick Sabrina. I don't really wanna do that one. Here, you do it. Oh, All right. Favorite. <laughs> oh, she lifted her foot all the way up to her tail. Why is she doing that? Well, I'm trying to. Come on. Give me your foot. <laughs> no. Like when I went, to, she just lifted it up all by herself, but then she lifted it up so high that she almost fell. Hi, pretty girl. I need this one, please. I know you want to give me the other one, but I'd like this one. Come on. No, this one. Good girl. Good girl. Could you do this one? Too close to the wall for me. You want to do the front? No, no, no. No, I didn't. Okay, thank you. I wanted to
to share with you, Gabby and Sophie and I. That's me, Sophie. That's me, Sophie. I keep telling Sophie, Sophie, you're never in the videos. You have to come sit over here. It's me, Sophie. It's me, Sophie. Anyway, um, we are officially looking for a horse. It took us four months to find Sabrina. So we want to be prepared because before she leaves, we want to have our own horse. We need to start looking now. And hopefully we don't find anything that we love right now, but we need to like be searching and being active to make sure that we find one in time. So we've been looking and we didn't tell you guys and people have been sending us links and we found this horse. Seriously, the coolest horse. Beautiful, right? Like, honestly, could you even imagine how gorgeous she is? So, basically, we love that horse. Let me tell you what her stats are. So, Izzy is a 15.3 nine year old Clydesdale, Clydesdale thoroughbred Morgan mare with oodles of personality and scope, is sadly ready to move on to a new competition family or committed rider. It goes on to say how she recently placed fourth in her first training event. She truly is the perfect match for a teenager wanting to transition from ponies to horses or for the novice adult wanting to get started. She is show jumping with plenty to spare. Izzy is a genuine fun little horse. She hacks alone or in a group, has seen the, has seen the hound safe and reliable and loves her job. Substantial price required for our little gem. Anyway, the... Um, so we've been looking at horses like Izzy and we realized having Sabrina that we have to be super picky about the horse we're gonna get, huh? Mm -hmm. Not a Clydesdale. Not a Clydesdale. So basically, I'm gonna share with you guys our requirements for a horse in case you come across one because- Gelding. We found Sabrina through one of you guys. So our requirements are- Gelding. We want a gelding. Our instructor told us that we need to get a gelding, so we're gonna get a gelding. So we, we, we want a gelding, we want 15 three hands high at least, right? Like at the lowest level, that's the lowest we yeah. want because we want to all be able to ride him. We don't care what he looks like, right? Just not a chestnut. She does not want a chestnut now. I love chestnuts. Yeah, Sophie and I like chestnuts. Gabby's ready to move on from the chestnut look, but I like chestnut. Anyway, so those are basically our biggest requirements. They need to be close to us so that we can go and try them out. We want one that's younger, than Sabrina. We want one that Sabrina is... Sabrina is 16, so... Yeah, so we want one seven years old to about 11 years old, right? Yeah. Yeah, so those are our criteria, and that's what we're looking for. We want it about $3,000. That's our goal. We'd like to stay there if we have to go up a little bit for something that really fits us. Oh, and we need it to be a beginner safe with yeah. a little more go than Sabrina, but we still want a relaxed, calm horse, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys that we are looking for a horse and we are about to resume our farm hunting as well. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Yes. So Grace Marburger said, whenever I watch someone ride, I always find myself clicking and squeezing my legs. And whenever Laura would go over the poles and she stayed trotting, I would get so excited and act like I was patting Sabrina. That's so funny because our coach does that too, our trainer, doesn't she? She, she even rocks her body like she's riding a horse and she's in this perfect position and she's clucking and she's banging and she's doing all those things. I'm always watching her like, oh my goodness, you are crazy. But I know that people do and do that. And she's trying to get Sabrina to move. Yeah. Yeah, it's so funny. Summer Boxall says, Gabby should wear jeans more often. Maybe not. Because I only have two pairs of jeans in this one I love. Like this pair I love. So now that she loves them, she'll probably be wearing them every other day. As yeah. soon as I wash them, she'll have them back on. Tiffany Archer says, Laura, just remember, Sabrina picks up on how you are feeling. It is true. I went into yesterday's lesson feeling super frustrated for some reason. I don't know if I had too much sugar before we went. I ate a couple of candies in the car. I don't know what probably. it was. But by the end of the uh, ride, I was totally relaxed and feeling myself again. Um, I was determined though that I was gonna actually get this, that I was gonna get her to go and I was gonna get her to listen to me and I feel really proud that I actually did do that. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.
and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.